Okay, so we're gonna discuss uh, a sutta called uh, Aditta Sutta. Aditta means uh, fire, uh, something which is on fire. So that's the meaning of the sutta. Let me ask you, has anyone uh, read, seen uh, this sutta before? Have you heard the name, at least? Aditta? Yes. So what is on fire? Let's take a look. Now, uh, what happens in the sutta, as we know in the previous suttas as well, uh, Deiri, a devata, uh, a deva, is approaching the Buddha while the Buddha was staying at uh, Jetavana Rama monastery. At one time, the Buddha was staying near Savati in Jeta's grove, another Pindika's monastery. Then late at night, a glorious deity, lighting up the entire Jeta's grove, went up to the Buddha, bowed, stood to one side, and recited these verses in the Buddha's presence. So, looks like that Buddha has not said any stanza, anything, and then, but at the end, he approved what the uh, deity said. Let's take a look. Let me read in Pali the stanzas uh, the Deva uh, recited. Adit tasmin agarasmi yan niharati bhajanam tan tasa hoti attaye no chayang tatta daihati. Okay, I think we have to go uh, one by one so that we will know what exactly uh, is going on. Adit tasmin agarasmi agar means house. Agara means house. Aditasmin, when your house is on fire, yang niharati bhajana. Uh, assuming you rescue the pot, like you know, the pot, like a vessel that you have inside the house. I mean, don't think that this is your uh, present house and you might perhaps grab something else, but at that time, people really like. The pot you know maybe they used to take water and maybe they used to bring things so anyway so the first choice that um, was said by the daily was assuming your house is on fire and then you are to rescue uh, the pot that is useful not the one that's burnt so assuming the rest is burnt on fire now the deva is aiming at something else Eva Madi Pito Loko, Jaraya Marane Nature, Nihare Teva Danina, Dinang Hoti, Suni Hata. And as the world is on fire, now what is this world? It is our life. It is on fire with all age and death. Jaraya Marane Nature, aging and death. We should rescue that life which has life uh, by giving for what is given is rescue now it promotes the concept of generosity now every day we are aging uh, and then uh, at some point of our life we're gonna die and because this aging and death they are imminent they are on the way they are not even on the way they are happening because you know uh, when you say death buddha identifies uh, different types of death every moment ev now buddha says it is in abhidhamma every uh, 17 moments uh, our body is dying that's called the momentary death not the physical conventional death so that's why you can't say you don't experience a death don't think that it is the death that you will meet at the end of your life. So this is aging and the death that you are experiencing at all times. So every 17 moments, you say Chittakshana, uh, for six, uh, 17 uh, Chittakshanas in the Abhidham, they say, your Rupa Kalapas, uh, your, your Rupa, the form material, is dying. right? Uh, for the young people, it's good. For the other people, I mean, for the people beyond, it might not be a good thing. But it's called momentary death. So anyway, so the two fires the deity identifies is aging and the death. 
so that's why our life is on fire so how we can rescue the life which is on fire with aging and death is to be generous all the time so generosity is is the thing that the deity was uh, uh, you know uh, sharing with the buddha and and the deity further uh, explains uh, the importance of becoming generous dinnan sukha palang hoti na dinnan hoti tantatha chora haranti rajano aggi dahati nasati dinnan sukha palang hoti what is given has happiness as its fruit but not what is not given thieves take it or rulers maybe the tax <laughs> uh thieves this is on a spiritual context okay uh, it is consumed by fire or lost and there are physical dangers as well so it is further uh explained uh, by the deity and then at the end the deva says atha annena jahati sariram saparigham eta danyaya medhavi bunje tacha dade tacha दत्वाच भूत्वाच यथान बावं अनिंदितो सग मुपेति ठाना then in the end this body is cast off along with your all possessions that is what we all know we don't even carry our body in the buddhist teachings knowing this a wise person would enjoy what they have and also give it away after giving and using according to their means blameless they go to a heavenly state now we should live a life which is blameless so according to the buddha's teachings a life which is not generous is a is a is a blame life is a blameful life it's not a blameless life so anyway now we have to take a look at of what buddha what the deva uh, explains by the fires now in other places of the suttas we find there are uh, not even two fires there are Eleven fires, so including uh, aging and the death. What are they? Raga, dosa, mo. They are uh, defilements. So they are fires based on defilements. And vyadi, jara, marana, soka, paridev, dukha, domanas, upayas. So they are painful states that we experience. Not because we are defiled, but because that is the nature of the life. So. the first three they are intentional issues let's say uh, raga is the first fire is is raga what is raga greed is greed uh, uh, a fire sensual desire is a fire what happens when you are into sensual desires do you think that you are on fire like when you are tempted by even not even by the individuals even even by uh, but also by the food right the food and other things you are you are like very excited right sometimes you are uh you feel like you can't take it it is it is that irresistible right so that means uh because when you go over uh, the normal limit of uh, that thing then you are on fire those what is dosa hatred is hatred a fire when you are angry do you feel something is happening inside of you yeah heaviness sighing right uh what else loss of breath what things happen it's a fire more what is more ignorance when you are too much into uh, sensual desire as well as uh, because of that you are angry and then what happens to you don't know what what you are doing right you are pretty ignorant so ignorance more so all these three uh first fires they are based on defilements killers is in pan they are not uh they are not happening the same way to everybody because everyone is maintaining their own uh defilements but the rest vyadi vyadi what is vyadi being sick getting sick it's it's normal to everybody right so you can sometimes help going away from there you can get sick at any time when you are sick you feel like you are on fire okay 
sometimes you know even there are medications doctors but they don't help you that much right so you feel like you are on fire and jara that is what we said aging now there's a science called geron gerontology am i right gerontology yeah. what is it uh the science of aging right it's a science so like uh, people, scholars and people who experts who studying about it you know they are studying about how people age sometimes we've been aging for nothing we getting ripen hair we getting loss of teeth we getting wrinkles but we don't feel we have lived that much that means that life is not that sensible that not that meaningful but anyway aging is happening all the time so we need to we need to be able to feel happy about our time that we spend right so uh, we had to be uh, seriously looking into that and marana as i told you momentary death that happens every moment every 17 chitta chit thought moments we are our body is dying uh that is uh, which you call conventional uh, momentary death and then the conventional death that will happen to us one day okay now the the rest of the words uh, are related to pain let's take a look at up these words in a in a in a serious way soka what is soka soro so paridev what is paridev weeping lamentation right this is there's a tree called weeping trees right have you seen the, those trees they are like weeping the shape of the tree is weeping but anyway lamentation sometimes soro leads to lamentation and these are the very important two words dukkha and domanas are they are they similar are they similar or are they dissimilar what is dukkha what is domanas so dukkha has a very broader meaning dukkha literally means pain but the whole buddhist teachings uh, is based on the dukkha concept but that dukkha is not this uh this context of the uh, dukkha what is it buddha says sankithena panchupadana kanda dukkha so oh, all condition things are painful so that's the biggest type of dukkha in the buddhist teaching so what is condition and what is not condition let me ask you because if it is condition then definitely it will lead to uh, dukkha that broader perspective of dukkha but in here this dukkha means the physical pain domanas is the mental pain but uh, the biggest concept as you know uh, the answer that buddha found out for uh, dukkha that's that's the dukkha that i'm now talking about the popular broader dukkha and buddha says it is uh, based on condition stuff condition things okay so what is condition in our life in the world sankhar right the last advice of the buddha is also the same vai dhamma sankhara pamadi na sampadi the so buddha says there is condition things are the uh, problematic things for us because they lead us to the dukkha what is condition and what is not condition let me ask you i think i told you a few weeks ago condition things mean if anything that is made out of something else literally speaking if something is made of made out of something else or if something is pretty much on the pati samuppada causality different origination that means it is a condition thing the only thing that is not condition is nibbana uh, awakening so the rest is a uh, condition so buddha says everything is condition so that they lead us to that broader concept of dukkha but in here dukkha means physical pain domana says mental pain or grief upayas what is upayas despair complete loss or absence of hope despair disappointments right do people keep your hopes or do people uh, disappoint you sometimes or all the time <laughs> what happens to us all the time do people disappoint us do people keep our hopes It, it depends too, right? huh? it is condition too but i mean but i mean what is the uh, what is happening often times to many people in the 
their lives. Disappointment. Disappointment. That's the issue. So that's why then we are into upaya search for uh, absence of hope, disappointment. Now the reason why I was telling you the list of 11 fires, two of the fires are mentioned in the sutta by the deity, aging and death. That's one thing. And anyone remembers another very famous sutta about the fire? Aditya Pariyai Sutta. The sutta which was given to the, the brothers Paul, who come from Gaya. Right? In that sutta, Buddha says, our eyes are on fire, like all the sense, sense, uh, sense faculties are on fire. So Buddha talks about fire with different, different things. But anyway, in this sutta, what we have to learn is that uh, our life is on fire with these 11 things. Basically, jara and marana, aging and death. And we also need to uh, uh, you know, talk about the solution to rescue us from the fire. It's generosity. Okay, what is generosity in the Buddhist teachings? It's the entry point to the Buddhist teachings. Dana concept, right? And you know, in order to become an arahant, one has to practice perfections, paramitas, right? It's common to Mahayana and Theravada and Vajrayana, right? So then in, uh, in the Theravada, there are 10 paramitas, perfections one has to do, fulfill. The first perfection is dana paramita. If one wants to become a, a Pacheka Buddha, Prateka Buddha, uh, the awakening between becoming an Arahant and a full Buddha is called Prateka Buddha. Uh, the main difference is that this Buddha is attaining the Buddhahood, but he or she is not able to do the same service. Uh, what the full Buddha can do. But we have very odd information about the Pacheka Buddhas uh, who lived at the uh, Shakyamuni Buddha's time. We get to know other uh, Pratyeka Buddhas at different times. So someone uh, was asking me one day, what are the information do we have about the Pacheka Buddhas? Uh, we don't see Arahans, Pacheka Buddhas, the full Buddhas stay together at one point. Pratyeka Buddhas are mentioned differently. But Arahans and Pach uh, the full Buddhas, they uh, got along really good. So anyway, in order to be a Pacheka Buddha, one has to fulfill two paramis, two perfections for generosity. In order to be a full Buddha, one has to perform three paramis, perfections for generosity. Let me explain to you. This means uh, Dana Parami, uh, generosity, perfect, perfection on generosity has a broader meaning. Now, if we can offer the external things, food, other things we have, external stuff, that is called dana parami, uh, which is what a lot of devotees do, a lot of people do for uh, for the needy people, right, for the spiritual people, right. So that's called dana parami. Dana upaparami is a step further, and that is not just external offering; it is something that you offer from you within let's say it could be an organ donation not everybody can do right it could be a blood donation not everybody can do so it's it's something within you right so that is called dana paparami the second version the third version is dana paramat parami is called sacrificing your life for a good cause sometimes you risk your life in order to do it uh, generous thing. A lot of people who are helping, rescuing other people, right, in the water, right? I think they are doing that, that big type of, that, that broader uh, uh, type of dana parami. So there are many uh, examples that we can find out. Anyway, so that is what the Deva uh, was suggesting and then Buddha was approving to do, to get out of the fire, to rescue from this life of 11 fires. Right. So in short, what uh, the Deva says is that our life is on fire, there are 11 fires. Let me tell you again, what are they? Uh, raga, that means uh, greed, dosa, hatred, moha, ignorance or delusion, vyadi, sickness, jara, aging, marana, death, soka, sorrow, parideva, lamentation or we, dukkha, physical pain, domanasa, mental pain or grief, upa, upayasa, 
that is called despair so these are the five that are that we are dealing with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis we have to recognize that they are fires so we need to get out of that fire to get out in order to get out that fire we need to practice the perfection on generosity as much as we can as possible so that's the uh, main idea of this sutta um, any questions looks like meditation is not enough right so we need to do so it's like uh, meditation is not a standalone practice so we had to do all these things uh, at the same time right that's why parami perfections and right There are few Adita Suttas. Adita Sutra. <laughs> because the reason is that they were the names were given by the senior monks. And I think sometimes there were some, uh, you know, uh, overlapping things happen. Uh, that's why uh, we can see. Now, how many Sadda Suttas are there? How many Sadda Suttas? So, how many um, Adita Suttas? Uh, I think uh, at that time there were. There was no, there, 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 were, there were no computerized, digitized system, so they could not track uh, where else they put the same name. Mm -hmm. uh, but the context is different. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Adita Pariyaya Sutta, Buddha, Buddha talks about all the sense faculties with fire, but in here we don't see that. Right? In another sutta called Kukula Sutta, Buddha talks about uh, five aggregates with fire. So, Buddha says, uh, you know, the form, feelings, perceptions, formations, consciousness, they are on fire. Like, we don't, we, we can't call someone is, uh, someone, right? It is, everybody is a, is a, is an amalgamation of the five aspects. So that's one thing. In the Aditya Pariyaya Sutta, Buddha says, uh, the, is, the signs are big, big issues. The moment that we take a sign, we call a nimitta. When we take a nimitta, which is called science, it is very dangerous. Uh, Sometimes in that sutta, I found out it is better to get burned without paying attention to the science. That's a kind of a different advice. Let me let me read you. In the Aditya Pariyaya Sutta, Buddha said it's better for an internal sense space. I uh, ear, a nose, tongue, body, mind, to be lacerated by a burning implement than for one to grasp the sign, nimitta gahi, of an external sense space. For such grasping nimitta gahi might lead to rebirth in a lower realm. So that means, it doesn't mean that it's better to get burned, but the, the danger is uh, worse when you uh, pay attention to the external signs. So it's good to uh, finish everything at the level of sense faculties without letting sense faculties take objects from outside. So anyway, we have to take a look at our, the sutta that we read today, Aditya Sutta. What we need to do is to practice generosity as much as we can. And uh, Jara and Marana, they are the main types of fires that have been identified aging and uh, death okay so let's uh, wrap this up let's share all the good karmas with the departed relatives and the deities may all the good karmas be shared by all the departed relatives who passed away in the name of all of us May they be happy and peaceful. May they attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Idam me nyati nanghutu sukita huntu nyateyo. Idam me nyati nanghutu sukita huntu nyateyo. 
idam me nyati nang mutu sukita hum tu nyate yo. Also, it share all the good karmas with the devas, deities who protect and bless all of us. May all the deities be happy and peaceful by sharing in all these good karmas. May they protect and bless all of us for good health, long life, and all the prosperity in your life. May they also attain the supreme bliss of Nibbana at the end. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Ittavataj ammehi sambhatan punya sambhi deva anamodantu sabda sampatti siddhya Ittavataj ammehi sambhatan punya sambhi bhuta anamodantu sabda sampatti siddhya Ittavataj ammehi sambhatan punya sambhi satta anamodantu sabda sampatti siddhya Aka sattaj bhumatta deva naga Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakhang Tuluk Sasanang Akasathach Bhumatta Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakhang Tudesanang Akasathach Bhumatta Deva Naga Mahitika Punyantang Anumuditva Chirang Rakhang Tumang Paranti Finally, let's make a great wish. May all the good karmas we've been collecting from the beginning Help all of us to attain the supreme blissful nibbana. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Abhivadana sirisa nichang vadha pachayno Chattaru dhamma vadhanti ayuvannu sukhaṁ balaṁ ayuraru Ke sampatti sagga sampatti Atu nibbana sampatti iminate samirushatu Sadhu, sadhu.